As the U.S. and other countries continue their research to better understand COVID-19, there's a buzzword at the center of many recovery plans. The NIH, CDC, and FDA are also currently validating several antibody tests. The FDA is currently working on an antibody test. The other test is an antibody test. So we want to work with mayors around the United States as those antibody tests become available. Antibody testing is different than a simple diagnosis test, which looks at the fragments of the virus in the body. An antibody test goes deeper and looks at the body's immune response. So what the antibody test tells you is two weeks or longer before, have you been infected with this virus? So what happens is when a virus gets into your body, your immune system goes a little bit nuts. There's part of the immune system called the innate immune system, and that responds to danger signals. And so that will give you a fever and you feel terrible. But what kicks in next are the T cells and the B cells, and the B cells are the ones that make antibodies. So what these are is proteins that will coat the virus and hopefully neutralize it and block its ability to infect cells. These disease-fighting antibodies may give those who have recovered from coronavirus immunity from contracting it again. Blood plasma from these individuals could then be given to sick and at-risk people, providing them with antibodies they need to ward off coronavirus. This type of treatment is called convalescent plasma. The idea behind uh, convalescent serum or plasma is that you can collect blood plasma from people, uh, make sure that it's free of diseases and um, has kind of the right amount of antibodies to make sure you think it'll work. And then you give it to someone who either might be at risk of disease, like a healthcare worker as a preventive measure, or you could give it as a treatment potentially. But in order for this to happen, a lot of testing needs to take place first. Many hospitals are racing to set up clinical trials that would be open to patients who meet specific criteria. We don't know the efficacy of this, so I do think that studying this in clinical trials in a controlled setting is going to be really important to look, is this a therapy that we should continue and ramp up, or is it uh, not really helping? Uh, we think it will help, but we need to test that as well. These key pieces of information from antibody tests, the presence of targeted antibodies, and the potential immunity from coronavirus also serve another purpose deciding when society can start to return to normal. Those with immunity could potentially return to work without the risk of contracting the disease again. But there's still a lot of research needed to know how complete or long-lasting immunity might be. The first people that are probably going to get serology tests are probably gonna be healthcare workers because it's just the most important venue for knowing whether, you know, if you have any sense that it's safer to send people to interact with patients, that is a really appealing thing to do, and a lot of hospitals are developing these tests. Large companies could also begin reopening with immune workers. Healthcare providers could better guide patients about when they can go back into the world, and people who have a high level of immunity could help others. You still have to decide how to make societal decisions about what to do, and that's been one of the kind of big challenges in, a, in an issue like this. So testing is kind of a first piece of information, and then you can understand, use that understanding to develop better kind of public health measures. It doesn't solve the disease by itself, but it's, a, it's an important piece of information.